So um, basically, this paper we study about the misinformation detection problem in the context of uh, healthcare demand. And uh, this problem is really motivated by the uh, information proliferation on the web, especially on different kind of online social media. Uh, yesterday, I think in the panel talk, uh, people talk about the information paradigm shift from the scarcity of information for people to make a decision to now abundance of information for people to make a decision. Uh, no matter how much information we have, we still are kind of struggling with uh, this situation. So in this uh, paper, we focus on the thing uh, primarily called infodemic. And this term actually was created by WHO during pandemic to refer to uh, a lot of information spread on the web during the pandemic. A lot of this information about the uh, um, about the pandemic, about the healthcare uh, policies, many of them are misinformation. So it makes it very challenging for average people to decide what to believe and what to not believe. And that will not only have a direct effect on the public health, but also about people's trust on the public agencies. Uh, in this uh, paper, we study about these uh, misinformation detection problem, especially for the emergent health demands. So one example of such uh, health demand is COVID, right? When COVID just hit us, uh, we have very little knowledge about this disease. So when there are a lot of mis misinformation about this uh, disease, then people find it very difficult to, to make a judgment. And some other uh, example include the monkeypox and polio, um, which are some uh, outbreaks after COVID as well. So uh, now let me uh, formally define the problem we study. Uh, we call it the um, early misinformation detection under multi-source and multi-domain situation. So the first uh, key aspect is multi-source. So this is really motivated by the observation that uh, a lot of current literature, when they try to handle this misinformation and emerging demand, they leverage some knowledge from uh, existing demand, they call it source demand, where people have abundant of knowledge and they try to use some transfer learning or demand adaptation approach to transfer the knowledge from existing demand to the target demand. But one uh, limitation of this uh, kind of approach is um, a lot of time there exists some demand discrepancy between the source demand and the target demand. If you only have a single source demand, that limits your capability to adapt the knowledge from the source demand to the target demand. So um, our thinking is, uh, well, can we leverage multiple source demand instead of one? For example, if we think about this uh, monkey pox outbreak as our target demand, where we have little knowledge about, can we leverage some rich uh, source demand like uh, COVID or cancer, we have a lot of information and transfer knowledge from multiple source demand to help us detect misinformation and target demand. And the second aspect is about this uh, multi-class aspect of the claims. Uh, this is really motivated by the observation that a lot of claims on the uh, web or social media, they're not just true and false. Some of them are mixed. Um, a lot of current uh, misinformation detection or fake news detection uh, solutions just make some oversimplified uh, assumption by assuming, well, let's just assume they are either true or false. Okay, so uh, in order to address our problem, there are two key challenges we need to uh, take care of. The first one is about this uh, partially misleading or unver unverified uh, content. Uh, this is basically the uh, statement I just made. Uh, let me give you just one specific example. Um, this, this is a post, people post online uh, during the monkeypox outbreak. Uh, clearly, you can read the first half of the claim is, is false. And the second half of the claim uh, is true, right? Because the US government did do this uh, regular stockpiling to get ready for this uh, outbreak of the disease. But they did that not because they want to launch that, right? So, but this kind of claim was sometimes even more confusing to people because Part of the information was true. Some people were just convinced by the part they think is true and also believe the other part. So how can we accurately identify this uh, mixed um, true and false claim is, is a clear challenge. And second one is um, in this paper, we take a knowledge graph based approach, which means we, we want to construct the knowledge graph from different source domain and consolidate these uh, uh, knowledge graph into a combined one and use that to detect misinformation in the target domain. But one challenge is uh, because we have multiple source demand and the knowledge uh, facts or triples, we extract it from the multiple source demand, they may not be 
consistent with each other. So let me give you a specific example here. For example, for the knowledge graph extract from cancer domain, uh, it will say this disease is not contagious, which I believe most of the time is true in the cancer domain. But for COVID, it's opposite. This disease is contagious. So when we try to consolidate these two graphs into one to apply to the monkeypox, we have to make a decision. Should we pick the one from cancer or should we pick one from COVID? Um, at this point, we, we probably cannot just depend on the knowledge graph itself. We probably need some extra help from the, uh, from, for example, from the expert to help us to make the decision. So that's a second challenge we need to address. Okay, so to address these challenges, we de developed this uh, MMADAPT, uh, multi-source domain, multiple class adapt approach, try to um, construct knowledge graph from different source domains and uh, uh, try to detect misinformation and target domain. It contains three modules. The first one is the knowledge graph construction uh, module, basically build the knowledge graph from the source domain that's available. The second one is to really resolve that conflicting knowledge facts or triple from different demands with the expert help uh, using a crowdsourcing approach. Uh, after we resolve the conflicts, then we start to adapt the demand difference, use a hierarchical uh, demand adaptation approach, which include the demand level adaptation as well as instant level adaptation. I will elaborate this component uh, shortly. So the first one is really about uh, knowledge construction uh, approach. So for this step, we just leverage existing large language model assisted knowledge construction tool like um, auto KG that help you just extract the knowledge facts as well as their relationship from the documents you feed into this tool. And for the relationship, which are represented by the edges in the, in the network, uh, primarily consider two categories, positive or negative. For example, you can see the, uh, this disease is contagious and the relationship between disease and contagious is a positive relation because it's, it, it is, right? And or you see this vaccine has um, uh, nothing to do with the DNA, will not change the DNA. This example of a negative relationship. And this can be automatically done by this uh, knowledge extraction tool. But in order to really further fine grain these uh, uh, edges in the graph. We also apply a transformer-based uh, feature contextualization approach that uses multi-head attention tool to uh, really learn more fine grain. For example, the weights of the edges is not just uh, one or minus one. It can have different weights. That will be very helpful for us to learn the contextual representations of the knowledge graph. Okay, the, after we have the knowledge graph from different source domains, we face the problem of that there are could potentially be some conflicting knowledge facts we need to handle. In this case, we design a novel uh, crowdsourcing uh, system that um, we can ask the experts from the crowdsourcing platform like MTurk, and it has a function for you to recruit uh, uh, professionals from health, uh, in the healthcare industry, and we also design some screening question to identify this expert to help, help us address these conflicting claims. But one challenge we have is uh, we basically cannot expose all these knowledge facts to these crowd workers. That's just too many, and that's not um, efficient. So we need to somehow identify what are the most likely uh, knowledge facts that we want the crowd worker to check. So we uh, develop a non-attributable uncertain estimation approach. Basically, we look at this uh, knowledge graph uh, from different source domain. Let them try to estimate the edges between the knowledge fact in the target domain. And we identify the one that has a higher uh, entropy, basically, uh, uh, high, sorry, higher uncertainty. And that's the one we need the expert to take a look. And then we take the feedback from the expert and up update the knowledge graph in our final uh, uh, step. So the last module, basically, we do the demand adaptation. Uh, different from the traditional demand adaptation, which only do at the demand level, try to minimize the discrepancy between the source and demand, source and target demands. We also do a instance level uh, adaptation use adversary learning. And the intuition here is uh, because we have knowledge from multiple source demand, and uh, the target claim can be related with sometime with one demand or the other demand. For example, there could be a claim saying, hey, um, this, this monkeypox uh, has some uh, fatal outcome to cancer patients. For this claim, probably want to look more at the knowledge graph from the cancer demand. 
And in contrast, it can also have a claim saying that the monkeypox is just a side effect of the COVID vaccine, which has more relationship with the knowledge graph from the COVID demand. So you have to handle this kind of discrepancy when you have multiple uh, demands. And finally, I will present the evaluation of our work. Uh, for the source demand, uh, as already mentioned, we use a cancer and COVID as two source demand because they are rich set of articles we collected from news website and fact-checking uh, website and uh, from credible sources like uh, CDC and Mayor Clinic. And for the source uh, posts, we also collect a lot of from the public available data set like fake health from cancer and uh, COVID uh, from the fake COVID from the COVID demand. And for the target, uh, because we noticed that a lot of misinformation actually spread on social media, so we collect the posts from Twitter and uh, manually annotate a set of them for the evaluation purpose. Uh, some of the details are summarized in, in the table here. So for the evaluation um, uh, purpose, we first did the single domain adaptation because we have two source domain, like cancer and COVID. We have two target domain. Here we pick uh, monkeypox and polio. Both have outbreak in 2022. So there are potentially four combinations if you pick one source domain and one target domain. As you can see, um, among these four different combinations, first we observed that um, our our MMDAP approach outperform other state of art uh, uh, misinformation detection uh, baselines. And more in, uh, interestingly, is for a single targeted man, uh, we noticed that uh, selecting different source domain, you have different performance. That probably uh, caused by the kind of discrepancy or distance between the source domain and the target domain. Uh, but anyway, this shows our demand adaptation approach uh, basically works. But the real uh, interesting uh, observation or result is when we combine the multiple source demand together, then we see there is a clear performance improvement of our approach by using the knowledge graph from both the source demand of cancer and COVID, and then uh, work on the same target demand as we did before. So that's something uh, we found really encouraging that shows uh, leverage knowledge from different source, source demand does, does work in, in this real world data set. Okay, um, we'll, finally, we also did some of the ablation study. Basically, we remove uh, each of the three key modules in our, in our um, framework, and we observe that um, each of these modules have a clear contribution to the overall framework, and having all of them is essential uh, for the uh, framework to have the best performance. Uh, I guess that's the uh, uh, main result of this paper. And uh, just to summarize, in this paper, we study a uh, early misinformation detection problem for emerging health demand. And we propose a uh, MMDAP approach that can leverage the knowledge from multiple source demand and handle multi-class uh, misinformation. Um, and we use real-world data set to evaluate. Um, and more importantly, I think, uh, uh, I think the outcome of the work really give us a more general way to take advantage of knowledge from existing demand and get us ready for any misinformation in the future uh, outbreak of disease. We hope there will be not, but who knows, right? And uh, I think that's all for my presentation. I'm happy to take questions.